Oh, actually, what got me started was when I had started collecting Brown County art and came across Gustav Bauman. I thought, who is this guy? And the more I sort of looked into it, the more I thought, oh, this is pretty interesting. How do you do this? And finally, I decided that um, he submitted might be a collectible. And then when we decided to do the expansion of the gallery, I decided um, maybe we need to have a little corner for Gustav Bauman. So from that point on, I started my search for Gustav Bauman's and I went to Albuquerque, New Mexico to visit my niece. And it's a short hop from there up to uh, Santa Fe. And so I went up there and uh, to the, uh, um, to meet Tom Leach. Um, and the repository for the most Gustav Bauman's are in uh, Santa Fe, uh, the Palace of the Governors. They even have a little recreated studio uh, of what would have looked like in Brown County. They even had his original printing press, uh, his original paints, his original inks, his, uh, all kinds of ephemera and uh, once you see the Bauman's and you see this you, you're off to the races you're ready to to uh, go collecting now that we have every image that he ever created in Brown County um, what do you hope people get from visiting this space they should get to, uh, the ones that, that are interested in him now tell me, they're just curious how the heck he did this. And we have the good fortune of having one of the progressions here. And it's a good teaching, uh, uh, physical teaching of how he does this, how he carves things. And um, I think it, because of the variety of things he did, starting in Brown County, the colors he, experimented with and went out west and became more colorful out there appeals to a lot of people and the floral scenes are priceless I think um, but the scenes that he found and the other thing I found interesting when he was in Brown County people asked me where do you find all these scenes and I said if you read one of Marty's books you'll realize that he never went four miles in any direction from Nashville. Didn't have a car, didn't need a car, so he became good friends with all the craftsmen. He respected them, and uh, they let him in to, to do his gouaches, and um, then he would take those to make his woodblock prints. Where do you think Bauman fits in? Um, why is this collection so important to be here in Indiana? Well, I think... He, I suppose some people could argue this, but the fact that he really got his start right here in Nashville. He came from Chicago, but his uh, laboratory, his studio, was just three blocks from here. And he, uh, he became a part of the fabric because he lived here year round, and the people got to know him, and he was very affable. and. Uh, as you see the views behind me, you'll see that a lot of those are craftsmen from the rug weaver to the uh, livery stable to the, um, what else do we have, carpenters. And so you pre appreciate uh, craftsmanship of which he was at the top. Way of the year, which is a very popular moment. We get the good fortune here also of having the the gouache, and if you look, you'll see this is reverse. This is part of his technique of, of doing this. But nobody home, this too is a tempera. And uh, he did this painting here, but he did the carvings out west. And the reason he did some of those, he still had customers in Nashville in the Midwest. So he had people he wanted to, to sell to. And, almost a still life, which if you hadn't seen the picture, you'd think this had something to do with flowers, but it's 
little German humor. Uh, there's a cat that's a focal point on this, looking down at two little mice coming out of a baseball mitt, circa 1911 or 12, in an upstairs attic somewhere in Nashville. And it was one of the harder ones he said that uh, he ever did. It was hard to, to construct it, hard to do the, the he named it four or five different names till he finally settled on one. But that, that's, uh, I was very lucky to, to find that one.